Salawam, Salawam. We are the Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, uh, formerly known as America, according to scripture, known as Babylon the Great. All right. but before we get started, I gotta, gotta give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Peace and salutations to the brothers out there pushing the truth and sincerity. Double honors are to the apostles and elders, great millstone, who do teach and rule well. Shout out to the hopeful elect. Brothers and sisters uh, scattered abroad, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and the confusion of faces, Israelite foreigners. All right. So, uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and start with, uh, you know, I ain't really got nothing planned, man, but I was watching a video on the way over here, and this will start uh First Peter chapter uh first Peter chapter one verse uh this will start at a seven man we'll start from the top it says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than than of gold that perish it right it's gold gold perish you know all these all these elements perish away right it's as though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach it says whom having not seen ye love right in whom though now ye see him not yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. And that's right, that's what we're looking for, man. All right. Verse 10, and this is the point I wanted to get at, it says, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, right? See, we prophesy of the grace that you can receive, man, if you turn back into your, into your true power, man. You know, turn away from your wickedness that is of this world, all right? That's what we're out here doing, man. To seal the elect. To, 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 you know, to speak those words that Yahweh Shai spoke, that the prophets of old spoke, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that Lord willing, hey, the lost sheep amongst this nation, Babylon the Great, will hear it, right? That's what we're, that's what we're out here to do, man. That's what we're seeking to do, you know? Because ultimately, man, that's what I'm just saying. This is not our rest, man. And a lot of people move and act and behave as if it is our rest. Alright? Um, Jeremiah, I believe. Hey, get this, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right? So, hey, seek, seek the Lord now, man. Seek him now. Seek him while you're ahead of the game, man. Ahead of the curve, man. Seek him, man. Because it's going to come upon a time where you're going to want to seek him. You're going to call upon the name of God, man. You're going to, you're going to shit, some of y'all maybe even fall out of this truth being once a part of the, uh, of the faith, you know. Uh, calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Guess what, man? He's not going to answer you in those days, man. 
So seek him now while he may be found, all right? But I was really wanting to go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 28, I thought, I thought so. Jeremiah 28 and 7, let's start from the top right there. It says, Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, Isaiah, Jeremiah, which this is Jeremiah saying this. So obviously there was prophets beforehand, right? It says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's where that's no different from where we're at today, right? In Babylon the Great, man. Also known as America. Right? That's what we're doing, man. We're prophesying against this wicked kingdom. A lot of people want to see it live, want to see it go on, want to see it make a comeback, right? <laughs> Y'all ain't no better than Trump supporters, man. Make, make America great again and shit. All right? Second Edges 15. All right. Second Edges 15, verse one. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. All right? What we're speaking unto you ain't lies, man. This ain't for, you know, we ain't just doing this just to do it, right? Oh, man. Verse, uh, we're going to jump down to verse 5, or actually, let's keep reading on. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Because many, many scoffers, like it says in scripture, in the last days you'll, you'll come across many scoffers, many, uh, you know, many non-believers, right? It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring pl plagues unto the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right? These things are... are Oh, I have already been here, right? But even more, even more so now that we're in the, we're coming towards even the ladder of the ladder in the in the in the end time prophecy, right? You know, uh, this shit's gonna be ramped up, man. It's, it's gonna the knob, the most high's gonna turn the knob up a notch, shit, a couple notches, all right? unbelievers right you know, many many who don't want to believe right but that doesn't make it untrue right it says uh this is romans chapter 3 verse 3 it says for what if some did not believe shall their unbelief make the faith of god without effect the most high forbid all right we got a precept for that which is in uh, john 5 and 30 It says, I can, uh, John 5 and 30, it says, I can of my own self do nothing as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me, all right? The, the Most High has sent us out here, man. You know, this isn't our, of our own will. I didn't know I'd be doing this a year ago, you know? But hey, that's what happens, man. When you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, uh, what does it say in... Uh, uh, you know, that was uh, Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right? 
Most High will guard you, protect you, put his wing over you, so to speak. All right? But, uh, uh, what is it? Um, Proverbs. Proverbs 1. Yeah, Proverbs 1. My bad. It's a lot. Proverbs 1. All right? Is how long ye simple ones, right? Because our people are simple, man. Will ye love simplicity, right? It says, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge, right? It says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. So where some regular digger legit looks at this Bible, you, you, you can't seem to get it. You know why you can't seem to get it, Jake? Because the Most High has a poured his spirit upon, uh, out onto you, right? The Most High has poured his spirit onto you, all right? Reading on, uh, it says, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye said it not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. You didn't want nothing to do with this, all right? When you had it good, everything was swell, you know, you didn't want to hear none of this, right? It says, but ye have said not, what's it like? I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock, mock when your fear cometh. And that's right. The Most High is not going to come save you when you're calling upon his name just when you need him. He's not, he's not some genie in the bottle, man. We say it all the time. Verse 27, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, which we're heading into these days, man. You know, people already, you know, unemployment rate was 7 million now, you know. Hey, it's coming, man. It's a matter of time, man. You think you got all the time in the world, but you don't. But what's going to happen when you're in distress and anguish? When those things come upon you, it says, Then shall they come upon, call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. And that's right. You're not going to be able to find them, man. That's why... I, that's why it says, man, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. While you're in this, while you're in this, uh, this period of grace, seek him. Seek him, man. Because he ain't going to have forever. All right. All right, John 6, chapter 65, it says, and he said, therefore, said, like it. And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no one can come unto me except it were given unto him of my Father. So the Most High have to give you the Spirit, man. You know? Verse 66, it says, From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Yahweh Shai unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Verse 68, Then, then Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, man. Woo! Golly. All right. And even in, in, in John 6 and 44, man, it says, No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw them, or draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. All right. So this ain't just something you can, you can choose to be in, man. You know? It's given unto you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. minded man y'all not spiritual y'all have no type of spiritual discernment yes that's 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 part of the reason why you've been led astray right why you why you think you can lean into your own understanding right this is second corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 it says for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds and that's right man that's right man down to Ephesians 6 now, just to back door that. Our weapons are not carnal, man. All right? We, we battling against uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. All right? It says Ephesians 6, verse 12. It says, For we wrestle not against...
against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's right, man. reference to this is our sword man you know we're really coming from hebrews 4 and 12 it says for the word of god is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the defining asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart that's right this book will expose you for who you really are man it'll show you hey the errors in your ways man this is why the most High said to turn back to his reproofs man Turning his reproofs, man. He'll he'll pour his spirit upon you. He'll make it he'll make it make sense, man. There's no there's no better better teacher. There's no better uh, you know uh, being to listen to, better person to listen to than uh, than Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, the Creator of all things, man. This is what this is why we he's dealing with the meek. He's dealing with the humble. You know, he's dealing with those of a contrite heart and spirit. You know, those that want to learn, those that have a willingness to unlearn things they thought they knew, relearn, right? Because it's not, yeah, that's right, man. It's not a bus to go out here and punish people. You know, like it says, our weapons of warfare aren't carnal, man. Most high, the words that we're speaking unto you through, it, through the, the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, that's all we need, man. That's all we need to hit you right where it hurts, man. Because ultimately, this is uh, Hebrews 10. And uh, start at 24. Hebrews 10 and 24. It says, And let us consider one another to provoke into love and to good works, right? Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much and, and so much and more as you see the day approaching. All right, you see these things coming to pass, this prophecy unfolding. Hey, it's coming, man, it's coming. Just because it ain't here doesn't mean it's not gonna come, man. Verse 26 is this, for if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful, Looking for a judgment and fire indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. And that's right. That's what we're looking for, man. Uh, it says, uh, For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Right? Jump down to verse 28. It says, He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses, being stoned to death, etc., etc. Verse 29. This is for you, you brothers, who have put your hand to the plow and turned back into the world. You started coming out here doing this work, you started being of the faith, and then you just said, fuck that, right? This is for you, man. It says, of how much sore punishment, suppose it, shall he be thought worthy who had trodden under the foot of the Son of the Most High and had counted the blood of the covenant, wherewith he was sanctified in the unholy thing and had done despite unto the holy unto the spirit of grace right you've done despite it you've, you've gone against it right and like I was, this was the point i wanted to get at in verse 30 man it says for we know him that has said vengeance belongeth unto me i will recompense meaning i will pay back saith the lord yahweh bashim yashai and again the lord shall judge his people all right verse, to, thir, verse 31 it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power Right. It's car accidents. You know, you're getting hurt at work. You're getting hit by a car. You know, you died in, a, in, in any sort of accident. You're getting shot by a drive by shooting. There was a bullet in it not even intended for you. This is all the works of Yahweh Bashim outside. It makes it something to be feared. You know, this is this is the this is uh, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. Because this is the days of Noah, man. This 
faster as the days of Noah, man. It's no different. The only difference, water, this time will be fire, man. Look at Second Peter. Chapter 3. Alright, starting from the top, it says, The second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure minds in the way of remembrance. Right, coming back into this way, coming back into your true calling. Because reincarnation is a thing, regeneration is a thing. We've been here before. Alright, and that's scriptural. Right. It says that they may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of the of us the apostles of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. And that's right. He's saying, it says he's saying, where is the promise of his coming? Right. When's, when's he coming back? I don't see it. I don't see it happening, right? It says, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation, right? Although you be asleep, although you don't understand, although you don't see what's, what's happening, what's coming to coming to pass, hey, things are carrying on. Things are carrying on just, just as they were from the beginning of creation. Verse 5, it says, for, they, for this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the wa water and in the water, Whereby the world that would that then was being overflowed with water perished. Alright. Most of us know about the story of Noah, man. Alright. Noah, Noah prophesied, preached, teached, did his best for over a hundred years, man. You know, for over a hundred years. The people that hear that today, man, it's just hard for them to understand. Because guess what? They don't understand it. Under Esau's rulership, under this wicked kingdom where the air is polluted, the water is polluted, the food is polluted, even organic, man, it's not, it's not truly the original organic, man. All right, it's, it's, it's hindering our lifespan. All right, but also, the Most High is speeding up the times. The most High is speeding up the times for the elect's sake. And that's, uh, it's, it's in the New Testament. I can't remember exactly where it is, but Baba Kasasalaki it says, uh. I'm going to read verse 6 again. It says, Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. One day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. All right, so when it talks about the Lord made created the earth and the heavens and earth every he created creation in seven days right that's really seven thousand years man all right we'll read it again second peter verse three chapter three verse eight it says but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that the day that one day with is with the lord as a thousand years a thousand years is one day so since since the 1600s you know even a little bit before since we've been over here in, uh, in the Americas, right? Or been really more so captives over here in the Americas, all right? Um, it's really only been half a day with the Most High, all right? Carrying on, verse nine, it says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Repentance, he would rather that all of Israel comes to repentance. He's letting you know that, all right? He doesn't want to destroy you. He has to destroy you. Alright. Verse 10. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Alright. These elements, stone, you know, steel, magnesium, copper. That uh, that thermonuclear fire is gonna melt anything and everything. That radiation that's gonna come from it as well, man. Right. It says the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved. 
What manner of person ought ye to be in all holy, holy conversations and godliness? Verse 13, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's exactly what we're looking for. We're waiting for time, man. That's exactly what we're waiting for. Yeah. Alright. I got a precept for that, man. It's like I said. The day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. Let's get Matthew 12. Matthew 12. Salawan brothers, you know, if anybody's still tuned in, man, you know, Salawan, peace, peace, bless the salutations, man, you know, keep enduring, man, keep fighting on, put up the good fight, that's right, man. All right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 33, or 43, it's like it. Because, like, like we said, the Most High pours spirits unto you, all right? The Most High pours spirits unto you, all right? Good and bad. For those who commit wickedness, guess who's behind that? Spiritual demon Satan. But guess who spiritual demon Satan reports to? And gets the blessing to do such things? The Most High, man. All right? So Matthew 12 and 43 says, When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walking through dry places seeking rest and finding none. That spirit is looking for a place to call home again. It used to have you, but now that you've come into this word, you've been cleansed by the by the uh, by the Holy Spirit, by the by the word of the Most High. Hey, that spirit gone somewhere else, man. He, 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 he can no longer feed off of you, right? Verse 44 says, Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out of. He's trying to get back into you, all right? And when he has come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. Right? And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. So you fall out of this truth, man. It's harder to get back in, man. It is. It's harder to get back in, man. It says, even so shall it be also unto the wicked generation. All right? Matthew 15 and 3. Uh, let's start from the top. It says, Then came to Matthew 15 and 1. It says, Then came to Yahweh Shai, scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do the disciples transgress the traditions of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandments of the Most High by your tradition? Right. Why do you why do you forsake the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High? Just to follow your traditions of this world, man. Guess what? Because you're of your of, the, of your father, the devil, man. You're of your father, the devil. That's right, man. All right. You rather you rather follow the traditions of this world, what they deem deem okay, what they tell you is necessary, what you were brought up doing, right? Then turning back to the reproofs, the facts, right? Turning back into what the Most High said to do, man. It's simple, man. CK out of the book. It's not hard to understand. Uh, jump down to verse 8 Matthew 15 and 8 This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth Alright And honoreth me with their lips Alright, it sound good, man they got, a, they got a good mouthpiece on them, right? But their heart is far from me That's right That's right Verse 9 But in vain they do worship me Teaching for doctrines The commandments of men Can't get around it, man you Cannot get around it see what we got, man. Let's see what we got. You know, all throughout the Bible, man, the Most High telling you, hey, turn back to the, to the Scripture, man. Don't walk after your own thoughts. Don't walk after what you've been told or what you believe is right. Hey, man. Speaking as a man, don't even listen to me. All right, do your research. All right, Isaiah 65 and 2 it says, I have spread out my hands all the day 
uh, to a rebellious people. Who is that rebellious people? The nation of Israel. Right? They love rebelling against the Most High, right? It says, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. Right? Like scripture says, man, lean not into your own thoughts and understanding. Because you are, you're not going to be able to receive this if you're just thinking that you, that you can uh, figure it all out yourself, man. Right, Isaiah 61, and we're just going to read that first first little, uh, first six words, man. Isaiah 61 and 8, it says, For I, I the Lord, love judgment. So, he, hey, man, for those who, who deserve it, man, it's, it's going to destroy you, man. Because like I said, man, does, does the unbelief of some make this, make this void? Does, does some people's unbelief make this thing untrue? No. Isaiah 55 and, and 11. It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right? That's right, man. You can't go against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. We already know Revelation 7, verse 1 through 8, man. It talks about, you know, the 12 tribes. They're going to receive salvation. You got four angels on the four corners of the earth. One rising from the east. Basically, I'm roughly paraphrasing, but basically just trying to get to the point. Saying, don't, don't, don't harm the world. Don't harm the tree, the sea, the earth until we seal the servants, right? The prophets. Starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, right? And then it goes on to name 12,000 men of the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? Only Israel, only Israel, that's it, all right? But you can read in Joel 2, 20, 2 and 27, all right? Let's get that real quick, actually. Two and twenty-seven. It says, "And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and I am the Lord, your God, your power, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed." All right. Verse twenty-eight, man. This is what's. This is literally what's happening right now. It says, "And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh." And you're talking about the Israelites. So don't you, you take those words all. And you think it applies to everybody when it, just in that he said only israel stop trying to go on to your own understanding all right it says i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters showing that this is a this is a, a, a genetic thing right starting from your forefather right it says and your son and your daughters shall prophesy your old man shall dream dreams your young man shall see visions and that's exactly what's happening right now man people having visions people not even of the faith having visions seeing the, the destruction the plagues the famine the, the the sorrow that's coming unto this place man all right this is isaiah 45 and verse 3 it says and i will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that i the lord which call thee by thy name am the power of israel for jacob my servant's sake and israel's mine elect israel is the elect showing that it's predestinated no from no other nation can you be an elect only of the house of israel all right it says i have even called thee by thy name i have surnamed thee though thou hast not known me and that's like what we always go into man israel in the ancient paleo hebrew is Yasharala, which Yasharala translated into the English is he prince power. So our forefathers, starting with Jacob, wrestled an angel, all right? And the angel said, Hey, you're worthy, basically, man. Your name from now on will be Israel, which in the Hebrew is Yasharala. 
your name from now on will be the Prince of Power, the Prince of God, the Son of God, man. All right? Which he begot 12 sons, and through his lineage, here we are today, man. Scattered sheep, all right? The lost 12 tribes of the house of Israel, who the Bible pertained to and only pertained to, all right? Uh, carrying on, verse 5, right? And that's like what it says right there, verse 4. I have even called thee by thy name. Sons of sons of the sons of the living power, man. 